and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And today we're going to be trying a brand new puzzle type, which has probably got the most, it's probably the most extravagantly named puzzle that we've ever featured on the channel. Uh, it's a puzzle by Bataku, the mighty setter. Uh, and it's called Sibs, Rabbits, Triangle, Squares, REM, et al. And I have no idea why. why. Oh, hmm. No, I, I really don't know why it's called all those things. But I suppose the sieve might relate to the sieve of Eratosthenes. I never know how to say that, but which is, um, it's a way of deducing all of the prime numbers, isn't it? And the prime numbers do play a role in this puzzle, which the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise is not a Sudoku puzzle. This is in fact a brand new puzzle type, uh, at least to me. And it's got the most ludicrous name. It's called a, 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 a made. I think it's meant to be pronounced made you look, even though it's 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 spelt in the most ludicrous way. And this puzzle is the invention of none other than Glum Hippo, whose puzzles we've also featured on the channel many times before. Um, it's got a very a very very simple rule set. It's one of these puzzles that when you see the rules, you think. Okay, that, that puzzle must already exist as a type because it's so natural. Um, but apparently the genesis for this particular puzzle is that Glum Hippo ran a setting competition over on the Discord server uh, where he allowed setters to have 90 minutes to set one of these puzzles. And Bataku's, Bataku's was, was chosen as, as the best puzzle. And Bataku only took 45 minutes to create this one. So this is obviously... A very, very clever piece of work indeed. Um, and I'll read you the rules in just a moment or two. In fact, I don't really have any, any news for you today, just an appeal as usual. If you do enjoy the channel, please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. If you really like our content, you will love our Patreon, uh, our Patreon site, where for a couple of bucks a month, you can access things like Sudoku hunts. There's always a Sudoku hunt every month. There's always extra crossword content, extra videos. Um, and yeah, a lot of people seem to find some fun there. So certainly recommend it. Um, other than that, let's just get on, shall we? Let's 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 spend our Friday evening solving sieves, rabbits, triangle squares, REM at out. What's this got to do with REM? Oh, is that because there's a three in the corner, maybe? That's three in the corner. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, the, the, the rules start off somewhat um, scarily, saying usual major look rules apply. Luckily, we then have what, what that means explained to us. So, i.e., divide the grid into n regions, one of each size, 1 to n. Black cells are disregarded, i.e., do not form part of any region. A region may not contain repeated numbers and it may only contain divisors of its size, e.g. a region of size 6, let's put a region of size 6 in there, um, may contain any combination of 1, 2, 3 and 6, including none of them. I've managed to put none of them in. Right, okay, so, so yes, okay, so that could be a region of size 6, I think, because... It contains a 1, 2, and a 3, and 1, 2, and 3 all divide exactly into 6. Um, yeah, okay, I think I understand that even. Do have a go at the puzzle. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Hands on the keyboard. Um, I've got my... I have got the correct glasses on. That's good. Um, now, I think the first thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The first thing I want to do is to work out, which I actually don't know embarrassingly off the top of my head, um, what the, the maximum size of N is in this puzzle. So this is an 11 by 11 grid. So that's 121 squares. Deduct one from that. We've got 120. I don't know... Um, what the triangular number is that corresponds to 120. I suppose I know the triangular number for, for 9 is 45, isn't it? So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 is 45. So 55 would be 10, 66, 78, 91, uh, 105, 100. 20 is 50, 15. <laughs> That's weird. My cursor was really near it. 15. 
Oh, so maybe, uh, okay, maybe there was an obvious way I could have worked that out. I, I don't know if there is, sorry. But anyway, so n is 15, which means that um, the regions we have to put in this puzzle are of the sizes 1, well, there's, there's one region of size 1, there's one region of size 2, etc, etc, all the way through to the one region of size 15, which is indeed this region, I think. Um, a region may not contain repeated... Ah, ah, hang on, I hadn't actually read that. Well, I probably did read it, but didn't understand it when I first read it. A region may not contain repeated numbers. So these two cells are in different regions, and indeed, these two ones are in different regions from this region. Right. Okay, well, I can see some simple things we can do here. I'm not, I'm, I've got no idea, by the way, how to attack this puzzle. Uh, I'm going to use the, the pen tool, um, which many of you will have enabled already. If you don't, click the cog on, on, on the right-hand side of your screens and enable the pen tool. I always have my pen tool enabled. But it allows you to draw, just to drag and... Uh, you know, drag lines around the grid because what I what I want to do here is to delineate the 11 region from the 13 region because there is definitely not uh, a, a region of a size 143 in this puzzle, which is how what would have to exist if these this 11 and this 13 were in the same region. Um, similarly, 11 and 7 are prime, aren't they? So there's no 77 region in this puzzle. We know the maximum size of a region is 15. Similarly, there's no 35 region. So this actually, oh, now hang on. That, this, this, I've got to be a little bit, I think this can't be in the same region, but it, but in principle it could be because a three and a five could be in a region of size 15. But the reason I, reason I think that won't work is that if, if these are in the same region, somehow they have to attach to this cell, don't they? One, two, without going through a two as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, okay, they can do that. All right, so we've got to be a bit careful there. We don't know yet whether the three and the five are joined together. But we do know, what well, we can do loads of coloring today. This is gonna be great. Look, this is a region. Ah, okay, this 11 region, so we've got to build a region of size 11. Can't bump into the 5 region because yeah, 5 uh, and 11 are both prime and there is no 55 region. This, is, this, is, this 11 is part of a region of size 11. So that's going to have to turn a corner. The 13 is going to start being built out. Um, the se oh, the 7 region can't bump into the 3 because it's not part of a 21 region. This is... Oh! Oh! Okay! That is exactly not what I was expecting. Because now the 5, which must be in a region of at least size 5, is bumping into the 3. Uh, so this is, a, this is in a minimum of a 15 region. So it is in... So this is orange. And we've got to, and it definitely isn't in a region with a two. Um, uh, okay, gosh, I tell you what I'm tra what I'm doing in my brain here, which I mustn't do, is I was about to make this region, this two region, as of size two, but that could be in a fourteen region, couldn't it? Oh, hang on, I've just realised something else. I've been assuming the seven is in a size seven region. That could be in a size 14 region. If the size, if, if the 7 joined joined with 2, then 14 is divided exactly by 7 and 2. Oh no, well in fact that is what, oh goodness me, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I've not ever done one of these puzzles before and you can see it's, it's uh, my brain is, is slowly starting to understand it. But look, this is, we know this is the 15 region, we know it bends down. The 7 region, which can't bump into the 3, that really is true, is bumping into the 2. And therefore, it must now be part of a 14 region. Now, we don't have a 14 in the grid. So we're not going to be able to do anything dramatic with that. that that's, uh, let's, what colour should we use for that? Let's use grey. That's at least those two squares. 
the 15 must now right so the 15 comes out through this one but we know we can't repeat digits in a region at least I've remembered that so it's got to come to here now this this has got to come down again which means this has got to come down again two three four five this is a 14 this is a 15 um, I don't think this 3 and 5 can be in the same region because although this 3 and 5 are in the same region there's only one 15 region in the puzzle and if this region had to connect it to there and there it would have to envelop a 14 region and then come and so it's going to be an enormous region because it's going to have to bound a 14 region pick up these and pick up these it, there won't be enough space to do that so this square and this square are in different regions which means the 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 three region must come to here which pushes the green region down pushes the orange region down it's very clever isn't it look and the five and the eight can't be in the same region oh can no they can't because again, five to five eighths of forty. There's no region of size forty in this puzzle. Um, so this this must be blue. This must be red. Now this could, in theory, stop now, but the three region could be in a region. Could be in a six region, couldn't it? You've got to be really careful here. You've got to be really careful. Uh, now, oh. Right, now this orange region can't have another 5 in it, so it must come there. Actually, how, how easy is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right. I want to say, and I don't know if this is valid, but let, let bear with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11 yeah yeah I think I think I've just convinced myself I think all of those have to be orange because if they weren't let's let's say this this one was green then in order to to attach this orange strip to this orange you'd have to take too wide a detour wouldn't you these two would always be in but you've you've gained a, a degree of freedom by not having this on the path but you have to you've got you've got to use up two extra oranges to perform to perform the turn around this square and that and because we're already at a count of 14 if we go absolutely directly and efficiently between this square and this square we can't afford two extra oranges we can't afford the license of um or the luxury of, of taking a detour so i think we have to take those and then we're going to have one more orange which could be a whole variety of things well presumably it could be any of these squares or indeed any of these squares it could be anything these squares or it could possibly be no it's not going to be able to be another digit is it because we've got all of the multipliers to 15 in here already with 1, 3, 5 and 15. So it, it, it's definitely a blank square that we need to add to orange. But look, now green is totally an utter... Look, this is beautiful. Green now has to come through here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5 has to come through here. 14 and 5 do not divide. Um, the 8... Yeah, this is going to make another great big channel, isn't it? Let's, uh, what colour should we do this? We could use red again, because this three has been cut off. In fact, look, we should, we should do this with this, this with this, this with this. Um, I can see why this puzzle's popular as well. It, it's already, it's already interesting, isn't it? And it's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so this has got to come out at least one more. This 11, I mean, it's got to come miles out, hasn't it? This 13 has got to come miles out. The 8 has got to come miles out. Look, the 13 has got to bend round the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
Okay, the 13 can bump into the 1. That's fine. The 8's now got to come down to there at least. So that... Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right, so the, the 11 is finished. It had absolutely no latitude in terms of where it could go. The, the 5 is finished. Ah, I'll tell you what we're going to have to be careful about here. We're going to have to try and keep a very careful mental map of which regions we've built. Because we've built a 3, we've built a 5... We've built a 15, we're building, we've built an 11. Um, how many, right, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Look, and we've built the 14. That's the final cell of it. Uh, the 15 can't bump into another number, so let's make sure we delineate that. The 2 can't bump into the orange. Um, the 8 has to grow more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the 8 is... Oh, no, it's about to finish the 8. That's nonsense. Although, it might not be nonsense in this instance. No, it, in fact, it's not a nonsense, is it? I can't make the 8 bigger. Because to make it bigger, it would have to be at least a 16. Um, and there are no 16 regions in the puzzle. And indeed, 10, 6 and 3 are not natural accomplice, accomplices for an 8. They're going to create some very large regions. 24, um, very large, well, at least 40. Um, and then 48 or no, I suppose we could, we, could, we could find a lower comp, 24 that would be. But it's still too large. Right, so the 8 does finish. Um... So, oh, so the 13 is going to run into the 1. How many of the 13 have we got? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, the 13 can't bump into a 3 because 3 is prime. And that's going to lead to a 39 region. So 6, 7, let's just check we've got this right. So the 13 is 4. So now we've got 11, 13, 14, 15 all done. We've got 8 done, 3, 5 and 8 done. Okay, look at the bottom as well. 12 and 7 can't go together because they would be, um, well, obviously, it just, it just can't work. <laughs> the, the region would be too large. Um, the 7 and the 2 can't go together, can they? They're both prime, so they would be in a 14 region. We've already got the 14 region. So, that, so okay, so there's some building out we can do at the bottom as well. Let's, let's reuse purple. So those are purple. We could you make we could make this red, couldn't we? Um, purple's got to come out one more. Ten. Hmm. Let's see, the ten could bump into the one. Oh, the ah, the three has to bump into something. That must be where we look next. The three has to bump into either six or nine for sure. Six. Uh, I'm just noticing the six and the four might be able to join a region with the twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, they can. That's almost certainly what they're going to do. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they could even pick up the two on the way, and even the one on the way as well. Ah, right. Now, okay, how do we do this then? I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. We've got a 10 region here as well. Uh, let's start building this down. What should we have? Make this yellow, the 10 region. That can't join up with the 6, can it? Because that's going to be in a region of at least size 30. And there are no such regions. So we can we can put in a line here. We've had we've had the size three region. C 
so there's no okay there's no 18 region is there ah that's it right okay so how does this six how does this six region grow we know it's in a region of at least size six so either because it can't go out through the 10 it's either going out through the nine or the four now if it went out through the nine then the minimum number that divides three six and nine is 18 um, and that's not going to work because there are no 18 regions so it doesn't come out through the nine so the six must come out through the four but if the six comes out through the four the three can't join well although could it no the three can't join to that actually for a, for a really interesting reason which is if the three did join to this then the minimum number that this could be in would be a 12 region but I don't think we can reach this 12 in the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, you can't do it because I could only just re reach it from the 6. So the 3 comes down and takes the 9. Now, does that mean this is in... So this is in a region of size 9 now. And it can't take the 3 in the corner. Oh, there's loads going on now. Okay, because the minimum, the six and four, the minimum size region, the six and the four can be in is a 12 region. So this six and four have to reach the 12 and they have to basically go efficiently because um, what do I mean by that? Well, they can't, we can't meander because look, if we go as directly as we can, as the or sort of almost as the crow would fly, if, if the crow had to move orthogonally, one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so every single movement in fact what we can do let's make this blue every single movement we make of this region has to either be westwards or southwards every time this this region moves um oh no i've just spotted something really obvious Ah, uh, you see, I think if you did a few of these puzzles, you pick up on these tricks. Okay, I've just realised that five is is a problem digit, and this uh, this probably should be where I looked very early in the puzzle, because well, look, we've got a five region already in it. So this is in at least a size 10 region, but we know it can't be in the 15 region because the 15 region's already got a five in it. So this has to be in a 10 region, which means it's in this region. So this is yellow, this is yellow. And I haven't done the cat. Is this just direct, is it? It is, look, it's just beautiful. That's the only way it can move. It uses all 10 cells straight away. Ah, so we can do this. Oh, now the 15, right, so the 15 region is now picking up one of these cells and it's not picking up a one, so it's either picking up this one or this one. Um, now the one is very flexible, obviously that can go, but we've already had a three region. So if this was a two region, there's not, it can't work. That's interesting. Yeah. If this region was just sized exactly two, then we've got four cells here, one of which could join the 15, one of which could be a one on its own. But the other region then would either repeat the size two region, or if we didn't have a one on its own, it would be a size three region, which we've already had. So this two region is at least is at least in a size four region so it must come to at least to here but we know that one cell has to be picked up by the 15 region so that's all it can be yeah because we the, the, the two region can't have a second one in either and can't be a five region it's good grief that's quite interesting so we've got to do that the one region now is high hived off it is its own little region and this square, I think, is part of the 15 region to complete that. And this has to have a colour. We'll make it blue. Um, this two region. Oh, well, this is probably the two region. 
I don't know that, but it probably is because we haven't had that yet because this turned into a four region out of nowhere. Uh, I've just noticed I haven't delineated the top of the grid correctly. Now, what's going on at the bottom then? At the bottom, well, I, I can build the seven region out further, which means I can build the 12 region out further. Now, is this region... No, this is a size 7 region, because the only other option for a 7 would be a 14 region, which we've already had. So what have we not had? We've not had the 2, which is probably this. 6 region. Have we had a 6 region? Don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I can't see it. So we probably haven't. Oh, maybe that could be a six region in the corner. Oh, that, that could even join the two, couldn't it? That looks quite plausible. Okay, so we've got a two, a six. Uh, we think this is the seven. We've, we've had the eight. We know this is the nine. We've had the ten. We've had the eleven. The twelve we've worked on. The thirty. Yes, yeah, so, okay. So there's very few regions left. So we've got a seven, a two... This two, I think this has to be the six region. I don't see what else it could be. In fact, here, here's a perhaps a simpler way of seeing seeing things here. This region has a three in it, but it's at least of size nine. So it must take that square, mustn't it? This can't just be a three region because we've already had the three region here. So it's at least a six region, which means it must, those two cells must be from the same family, which pushes this over, which means this six four does go this way. So it does pick up the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is at least a size 6 region, so it's got to grow, that's got to grow, that's got to grow. It still has to come one more, which means this has to grow one more, which means this has to grow one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You see, if this, if this green region took both of those, it doesn't have to grow anymore. Or these two could take those, and that would that would make this the size six region. I think it's 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 always been bound to be. Um, okay. Well, perhaps the better way of doing this then. Yeah, this can't be the six region because it's going to cut off the seven region. Because if this was six. It would always take this square or this square and that cuts off the seven region so this must be the two region which means it's it's finished and that's going to be great so we can now we can now the seven region well here's that's got to be the seven region because it can't remember every cell that we take along this path this is a snake this blue path and it can't it can't deviate it needs to be totally efficient so this square is not a, not an option for it so that must be part of red and in fact we're going to have to pack red in aren't we we're going to have to pack this seven region in and have it then bounded exactly by the blue region one two three four yeah so what we couldn't do for example is this because then this is not a snake and it's going to have too many cells. So we're always going to have to pick up this square as red, this square as red, and again, that square as red. That's very clever, the way that that region is basically forced, and that's going to force the whole position of blue. Um, we'll, we'll check the counts in a moment, but assuming my logic is good, I think that's how we're going to have to make these work. Six six that is seven this two can't join up with the nine region so must and we've had the two region so it does join up with the purple region which completes it and that that's finished the puzzle actually out of somewhat quickly at the end we've just we've we've managed to create the nine region so everything uh, oh hang on although that's not the right size 
Oh no, it is. Sorry, I was suddenly thinking I hadn't got nine cells on it, but I have. So I think that's it. I think we've done it. I presume that the... No, the checker doesn't work. Solve counter one. <laughs> Not many people have had a go at this, obviously. Um, but I have had a go at it, and I liked it very muchly. That is a very cool puzzle indeed. Uh, I'd love to see more of these, actually. I thought that was that was incredibly... It was just interesting. Uh, and, you know, region division of this type, it's it's a little bit different from sort of philomeno logic, isn't it? It's, it's a bit more mathsy uh, in a good way. Um, it just it feels like an incredibly natural rule set and very very so very clever of Glum Hippo to come up with a rule set and incredibly clever of Bataku as usual for coming up with a beautiful puzzle um, let me know in the comments whether you enjoyed that too because I'm sure if we can uh, if we can let these brilliant constructors know that this is a popular puzzle type we may see more of them in the future and that would be nice um, so thanks for watching and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.